There is a lot of things uh, inside our bodies that we don't see externally and that are happening. You know, our organs and everything, everything has to function. And sometimes we really don't see a difference in our day-to-day -day life, but uh, there could be some important underlying things that could result in a very serious disease. And that's why I think it's important to take blood tests regularly. And I personally take blood tests every year. Uh, I usually go to my doctor's office and I fill up manually the lab request and I get myself, you know, measured. And then I store these uh, on my Google Drive. However, this process is quite tedious. Like it's a hustle and I personally hate to do it. That's why we decided to develop Macromo at home blood test. And I would like to show you the entire process and review our own product. And with that said, let's jump into the video. So I have Macromo blood women's health here with me and uh, we are going to take the sample. Uh, it's going to, uh, it's going to get interesting in uh, in a moment so let me tell you how to unbox the box you just unbox the thing here we have a manual that i created so i should know what is inside and then we have this um carton box with the uh, ampules and automatic lancets so First, we are going to register the sample in the Macromo mobile app. It's a production version. I have my Macromo DNA platinum results here. And in the same help tab, I'm just going to scan. Uh, then we have a questionnaire. Here we have the test registered. Amazing. We don't need uh, our phone anymore. What I like to do is to place my uh, two tubes upright like so uh, we have these like tiny tiny holders in the cardboard this way i will not spill them and it's possible that i would be able to spill them like trust me i'm the most clumsy person ever so now they are nice and secure uh what else do we have in the package we have the thingy with the shipping envelope with the logistics sweet then we have this plastic bag for the samples we have a lab card which we need to fill in so uh, we will uh, do it afterwards but we need to enter a time here and then we have a bandage and we have an alcohol wipe so now how it's going to work i have three automatic lancets um, I will prick my finger and then I will uh, collect the blood in here. Uh, it's important to uh, the, the <laughs> to use this disinfix. Basically, it's a wipe with alcohol in it. Uh, you know, we don't want any nasty bacteria or anything like, you know, it's disgusting. So, which finger are we going to do today? So my fingers are not the prettiest because I am um, I'm climbing and uh, so I have a thick skin, not nice. So over here, you just, now I'm trying to, you know, not touch the fingers, I just disinfect it. So how is it working? Like there is a little spring inside that will just uh, push a little blade and it will break my finger. It doesn't hurt at all. Like it's uh, it's a very it's very easy. I'm always scared. Like I'm scared of things that are moving quickly. Um, and the best position. Uh, sorry for <laughs> uh, talking about it for too much. The best position is to do it like from the side of your finger and not too close to the nail. Because if you do it too close to the nail, um, it might like go through and then it will hurt. And that's not good. So. You know, I just like gently put it. Nice one went. So now I actually didn't warm up before this, uh, which I was supposed to do. And I'm not sure if I will produce. All right. So I held both of the wiles uh, up till the, up till the marked line. 
If it's a little bit less, doesn't matter because, you know, uh, you can, we need about 750 microliters. Uh, this is like thousand. So then I will just, you know, uh, gently uh, rub my finger. Uh, the second one, it's not that, uh, that deep, uh, the cut, so I think I don't need it. Uh, need to wrap it. Uh, it sort of, you know, the body did its work. Um, so now I will place the the caps um, on the sample, like so, until I hear click, and then I will mix uh, the blood for both of them actually. So one second. We'll just mix it. You just need to like flip it back and forth, back and forth, maybe a little bit. You don't need to shake it as much as I did, but uh, yep, that's the thing. Now I will place them into uh, into this container, like so, and uh, yeah, I will just fill in my. Uh, my lap card so and that is about it uh, i just placed both of them into the shipping envelope it has a prepaid shipping and i will just send it to the uh, to the lab and uh, yes that's the process in the next part of the series, we will have a look at my results inside my app. Uh, I will get them in about a uh, few days, I think like three days. And we will also have a look um, at how I work with my blood and DNA results combined and what are uh, the action steps I uh, do in my day-to-day -day life. As far as I know, uh, there are companies that are offering similar kinds of tests like Triva in the UK or Circle Snapshot in Hong Kong. However, there is not any solution that is uh, widely available in Europe. And so what we want to do is to first test it in Czech Republic, but it will be soon available in all European countries. Um, and yeah, there is a long way to go, a lot of improvements we have to make. Uh, but I'm very excited that we are bringing uh, the lab technologies in the comfort of people's homes so they can actually use it hassle-free and they can gain the benefits of early disease detection and prevention. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video and we will see each other in the part two.